Hey, this is Artifacts of March, and there's been this kick going around the internet about Larsnick and Rice, and I'm going to explain what there is to this, uh, because we have these experts filling us with fear about eating rice, and my response is BS. That is bullshit. A leading rice contamination expert tested three popular methods of cooking rice. Arsenic matches get into rice as a result of toxins that were used in the past. That's BS, by the way. Gets in the, uh... That is incredible bullshit. It gets in the rice because rice patties, the water leaches out of the soil. But an experiment found boiling it in excess water helps flush out chemical. That one I can't address. Soaking rice in water overnight slashes arsenic levels by 80% study found. You may not think there's anything wrong with how you cook rice, but there probably is. If you're not using enough water then you're at risk of heart disease and cancer Scientist has won. <laughs> Cooking grains in excess water helps flush out arsenic, preventing any po possible chemical poison. White rice s soaking overnight slashes level levels of the industrial toxin by about 80%. Contamination expert claims. Well, arsenic gets in the rice as a result of industrial contaminants and pesticides that were used in the past. That's bullshit. Actually, it's present present in all soil. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. And what happens is the uh, water in the rice paddies leach it out. Rice is what's known as a hydrophilic plant. Right here, uh, some aquatic plants are used by humans as a food source. Examples include wild rice, water caltrop, Chinese water chestnut, and a bunch of others. Professor Andy Mehard, a leading expert on rice contamination from Queen's University of Belfast, tested chemical levels after cooking rice in three different ways. He first used ratio of two parts water and one part rice, whereby the water was absorbed or evaporated during cooking. Increasing the ratio of the five parts water halved arsenic levels and so I can't overnight cut the toxin level the most. It comes after that Food Standards Agency. Uh, here's the key point. Food Standards Agency, that's the European Union, warned against overcooking potatoes and toast because of increased levels of cancer-causing chemical acrylamide. Well, they can get bent. As far as I'm concerned, real mind, which is also found in tobacco smoke, has been shown to cause cancer in animal tests. The evidence suggests that all age groups, but particularly children, are consuming more acrylamide than they should. Typically, rice has ten times more or inorganic arsenic than other foods on the European Food Standards Agency, which has reported that people who eat a lot are exposed to worrying concentrations. Chronic exposure can cause a wide range of health problems, 
including developmental problems, heart disease, diabetes, and nervous system damage. This is getting thicker, it's getting deeper and deeper and thicker and thicker. However, most worrying are lung and bladder cancers. Professor Mahard has previously suggested that cooking rice in a coffee percolator would stop any arsenic from binding it to the rice, and allowing hot water to drip through the rice, contaminants will be washed away. In previous experiments, there was 57% reduction in arsenic with a ratio of 12 parts water to one rice, and in some cases, as much as 85%. That would be a pain in the neck. I suppose you can straighten it out. We have some investigation to be shown on tonight's episode of BBC's Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. No, what you are is a hardcore leftist who's always dreaming up ways to make people's lives miserable, you asshole. Listen, uh, here's the deal with arsenic and rice. Have you ever seen... Like I said, it gets it from the soil, basically. I've never heard of a pesticide with arsenic in it. It gets it from the soil. When water leaches the arsenic out of the soil, it's natural, and then because the rice is hydrophilic, it takes up more arsenic than a ground plant like uh, wheat or barley or oats or whatever. But here's the deal. You ever seen these Chinese, these, uh, I don't mean this in a racist way, but yellow people, Asian people, whatever, they eat tons and tons of rice, and they never get sick from it. They're, <coughs> I mean, it's a staple for them. Of course, Mer Americans are, uh, Love rice, too. There's no denying that. I think you would have to sit there and eat. Maybe if you ate a whole pot of it, you'd be in trouble or something, but then you'd clog up your stomach anyway. This is all fear mongering. It's just more politicians wanting to control you. Control, control. This is the EU. It's been. <coughs> Excuse me, wisely said that the EU is Hitler's dream without death camps. That's about the size of it. My advice go have your rice meal and don't worry about this. This is bullshit. The, it's deeper than the water in the rice patties, I assure you. I eat brown rice, and I don't worry whether it was soaked overnight or anything. I don't worry about it. For crying out loud. I'm glad I don't live in the EU, I'll tell you that much. The problem is that uh, Democrats here want to make us like the EU. And here's, I haven't watched this video, what is acrylamide? FDA explains how it occurs in cooking. I wonder if that's their organization or RFDA. No, uh, it's ours. There's this food standard agency. Anyway, that's the long and short of it. Have your Chinese food and don't worry about this. Is it just people trying to control you because they're control freaks? It's no harder than that. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.